Hey y'all, welcome to part two. So what do we leave off at? Oh yeah, I remember. So you guys, I have been battling some wicked insomnia. Oh, is this a little yoga area? I love it. It is right now, 4.40 a.m. I did go to bed at 9 p.m. because I'm really trying to combat this, but it is not letting up. It is not letting up. Today was a better day. Well, yesterday rather was a better day than any other day because at least I got sleepy. These other days I've been staying up like past like 36 hours. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So it's so horrible. So I've really been trying to just like push through it and find different ways to kind of relax. So when I got tired at 9 p.m., I went right to bed. It's 4.40 a.m. Um, I did. I slept from 9 to like 2.40, like about 3 or something like that. So, you know, that's better than nothing. I'm going to try to stay up and not crash at like 2 p.m. Just so that I can hopefully go back to bed. Kind of trying to like reshift my body. This is something that I go through every year it normally happens in the winter time oh this tub is super cute it normally happens in the winter time but these last um, like two years it has come in the summertime so i'm very frustrated about this but it will pass it always does but it's frustrating nonetheless so I'm noticing that this place has lots of common sit-in spaces, sit-in areas, and I really, really like that. It makes it where it's like you can feel comfortable coming here, feel comfortable relaxing, hanging out and chilling, and um, you don't have to feel like you're kind of like invading someone's space because they make sure that the spaces are very... Um, they they feel like common spaces they don't feel like this is like specifically for the people that live here and i really like that they have some nice little setups for like tea parties and things like that which i think are adorable all the little sitting spaces are super cute here i absolutely love these clouds you know what's crazy i have been telling myself that i was going to start a vlog but for the life of me i cannot pick up the camera so i just feel like it's not time yet i know that i will be doing a vlog soon well sooner than later but i don't know i, I gotta i gotta feel it you know i can't just vlog i've done that in the past and it's horrid to edit so what's this mermaid cove okay so I do believe, well, for myself at least, when you create content that you don't really like, it's very difficult to edit it. And I don't want to go through that. I've been through that. I know what that feels like. And yeah, we're we, we not doing that no more. I love editing these videos. And that's why I know this is something that brings me joy because I really, really enjoy editing these videos. And I wanna feel like that when I do my vlogs too. And I know I will, I'm just not there yet as far as being ready to actually vlog. But I know, eventually, I will. What's this down here? It's so cute over here. Oh, they have the little mermaid statue, super nice. With the little, it looks like a, a whale, a dolphin. All oh, the dolphins. They said I'm a dolphin. Don't call me no whale. You see how he jumped up when I said it was a whale. So these are little sitting spaces. These little hearts, and then they have the little mermaid hammock. It's so like it feels so whimsical. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's so cute. Each space gives you like different picture opportunities. I really like how they incorporate um, all the different colors. Like they move, the, the land kind of moves into the different color aspects. And I do like that. I love when the lands are so pretty, you just want to look at everything. I'm so glad that I decided to walk around here because I found so many cool little spaces. Everything is so cute and pretty. They have this little 
It looks like a little makeshift tent, but it's super adorable. It has a little seating space underneath it. Lots of little cozy seating spaces. I like that because a lot of these, you actually have to like walk up on them to realize that they're seating spaces. Oh, look how cute this is. Oh, adorable. So this is my first time seeing this couple walker. So I don't know if they have these um, sporadically around the land, but I think that's cute. So see, it's made like a little romantic little getaway. Is this like a little cute beach area? Like a little pool, water, like a, what is it? Like a water amusement park or something like that. I can't think of the specific name. Everything is so pretty with all of the colors. I love this. I'm not even sure how long we've been looking around here. I always feel like it's not a long time and then I look at the video, I'm like an hour? How is it an hour? If this is a two-parter, then so be it. Look how cute this is. I love that it is a pool toy, but it looks like one of those um, inflatable balloons. It looks like a balloon and I think that's super cute. The meshing and the texturing is super nice. So yeah, I'm, in, I'm enjoying the fire. So I feel bad, I'm mean, kinda sorta feel bad even saying that because I know there are a lot of people that are having issues with the new Firestorm viewer, but I'm really, I'm really enjoying my um, experience, but I still do hope that they get their stuff together and make it where it's suitable for anyone to come on. I feel like considering that this was initially uh, just a flat land and people made it into what it is now to kind of boot some of those people out that helped SL be SL, I think it's crazy. So hopefully they get things together. I love this guitar. Look how cute it is. The details are so nice. I love the colors on here. Everything is so pretty. Look at this cute little drum set. It's so cute. I love it. The little balloons. It's so pretty. Everything looks so realistic here. I love all the items that they have picked out for this space. So this space is definitely given pink wonderland. I love this space. This is like the pinkest space of them all, in my opinion. I don't know. There's a lot to look at around this land. So there might even be spaces that are even more pink than this space but I really, really like it. Look at the chairs. I love the shine. I think, I think it's the shininess that's really getting me. I don't know, but I'm over here like cheesing recording this and that is what is so funny because I'm like super geeked. Everything is so, so pretty. Just like a little gift table. I don't know. I always be like, did one person do this or was it like a bunch of people that did this? I can't imagine decorating a land like this in a timely fashion. This would take me forever, forever. My mind just doesn't quite operate this way when it comes to um, decorating. I just don't, my mind doesn't go to spaces like this. And I think it's really cool that a lot of people's minds can go to spaces like this and just be like, you know what? I'm gonna make a place that's like super girly, super cute, lots of pink and florals, and just really know how to come together and just like execute it. And so I'm like, is it a team? Is it a team? Is it a team of people? I don't know. They have a lot of Dust Bunny items here and I really love that. I love Dust Bunny items. They are one of my favorite stores for um, decor. They used to participate in the weekend sales, but not so much now. And especially since they have kind of moved towards um, houses now, really nice houses. Their houses are super cute. 
we were supposed to look at a house. I didn't see any that were for rent. And then I also was like, I'm like, we're going to pan in. So maybe, maybe we're not. When, when y'all come here, y'all can do all that. You know, look how cute. The little watermelon hearts. Oh, this is so yummy looking with the little ice. Y'all know I love food. I love the food in Second Life. It always, it just, it gets me. It gets me because I'm like, this looks so realistic. Look at the little sandwich wraps. I love it. I have a lot of these items and sometimes I think to put them out and then sometimes I don't. Sometimes I forget that I have them because I've had them for so long. These little popsicle drinks, super cute. But yeah, they used to participate in the weekend sales and I used to snatch them up, snatch them up. What is the name on here? Oh, it says Paradise. Oh, and it has a little DJ booth at the top. Let me see what their DJ booth looks like. Ooh, I love it. So cute. It's just so pink. I love it. They have a little, does this give you stuff? They have a little drink dispenser that gives you like a little glass of champagne. Super cute. Look at the balloons, you guys. How pretty is this? I love it. They have a couples dance ball. A lot of times the dance balls will say couples, but it'll also have um, single dances in them as well. So don't get, you know, deterred when you see stuff like that. Cause sometimes they will still have um single animations in them look how cute this is is this a little cat loaf i love a cat loaf oh look at your little kitty cats i love it they have the little drinks with the little this whole little beach area is adorable more sitting spaces i'm telling you put your bikini on and come here you're gonna have a time with the pictures. So you see how they have the space looking just nice and pink, but very relatable. And then they'll have like the the jewels here, the gems here that gives that enchanted type vibe to it. Where it's like, where else would you see stuff like this? And you could see it in a lot of different spaces. I don't know if this is a sitting area or is this just like a little makeshift change in space. I don't know. It might be something that you can pose in. It's super cute. And then they have more jewels. And then a whole hotel. It's giving motel. Keeping it at a thousand. It's, it's giving motel. But it's super cute. So they have like the little keys over here. I love it. So nice. This is super cute. I am so enjoying this. Oh, I just, you know what? This was another land where when I dropped down, it just looked like a bunch of trees and flowers. Look how cute this is. Look at the shine on here. Super cute. And so I kind of thought that that was really kind of all that they had was just like a cute place with a bunch of flowers. And I'm like, nah, we got to see more than that. One thing that I have told myself is that I'm not going to get any more landmarks until I visit the places um, that I already have because I went back to a couple that I wanted to go and look at. This cat refrigerator is too cute and they were gone. And that's on me because I waited too long to see them because a lot of times I'll find new places and then I wanna show you guys those. But a lot of the places that I have in my landmarks are also places that I really wanna show you guys. So I was kind of bummed when I um, went to one of the places that I wanted to show you guys and it was gone. This is cute. They have this little heart pool, but they have like a really huge floaty in here. I love it. It's giving Barbie. That's what it is. All of these spaces, they're giving Barbie. I wonder, can you, these rooms look furnished. Can you go in the rooms? Let me see. Do these doors open or is it just a, ooh, okay, hold up. We gonna check them out real, we gonna be real quick, I promise. So you have this little space with the little unicorn. This is a small space for them to have. Okay, I guess you can't open that door. 
And I'm like, this is a small space to be having like doors and stuff on them. But this is super adorable. Okay, we're gonna look at another one. So I don't know if these are rooms that you can rent or if these are just decorated rooms that you can, okay, not that vending machine. Or if these are just decorated um, spaces that you can go into since you can't go into um, the houses because they're rental spaces. This is giving, you know, this is giving adult, you know, look at the little basket really quickly and then look away, okay. But these are super cute. And they have one more. Then they also have like an upstairs. I don't think we're gonna go upstairs. I don't. I don't wanna do too much. Oh, this is super pretty. It's crazy how the, the other room is like very like BDSM. And then you have this room that's like very cute and dainty. They still got a little, you know, they got a little, a little shum shum. If these are rented, my apologies, but you guys did an excellent job decorating. Look how cute this is. Dust Bunny has some of the most aesthetically pleasing decor pieces that I have seen. And I've seen a lot. I have seen a lot. You know, ignore that bag. Oh, ignore. Okay. We're going to have to blur some stuff out. Alrighty then. Let's come up out of here. Let's come up out of here. So I've had an amazing time with you guys. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.